Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. This is Father Ron Sandoval, SVD, and I welcome you all to this moment with Jesus, the Word of God. Today is May 17, Monday of the seventh week of Easter. Samahan niyo po ako sa ating pakikinig at pagninilay sa salita ng Diyos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about twelve men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 68. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises. His enemies are scattered. And those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Gospel Antiphone If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do you believe me now? That was the question of Jesus to his uh, disciples. Do you believe me now? And they said, yeah, of course. They said, we believe you now. Uh, and it's based on what, uh, it is based on how much we know you and what we know of you. But maybe the basic questions that we can ask ourselves now is how much do we really know Jesus? How much do we really know about the faith? One of the realities of life is that man has a weak um, tendency, or if not dangerous at that, to believe that um, he has known everything, <laughs> that he has the full knowledge of everything, and that from this knowledge, he can now deal with life, he can judge everything according to that, or yeah, he can lead his life according to that knowledge. But you will always realize that there is always an incomplete knowledge of what we have and so it is really wrong to, to to have that attitude that i have the knowledge of everything and i have the power because of this 
our knowledge is always incomplete. And so even our knowledge of Jesus, how much do we really know Jesus that we say that we believe in Him? Uh, do we know Him only, that knowledge of Him, when good times are with us? If we, have enjoy, if we are enjoying life, if we do not have problems or sufferings, I mean, you know, if, if life is flowing beautifully as we go and as we journey through this world, uh, that is, is that all what we know about God helping us out? Th that is problematic if that is the only the side of God that we know or the side of life as we know as God helping us because that is not the only side of life. A bigger side of life is trouble, suffering, um, yeah, the problems that we have, the pandemic at this point in time. And so, do we still know God in that sense? Do, when we are in trouble, and we will always be in trouble because that is part of the reality of this world, does our knowledge of God help us if it is really a bigger or a complete knowledge of God, does it help us to, to face these realities of difficulties of our lives? Jesus today is telling us to, and always, no? Peace can always come from me. Do not worry. You will be in trouble. I, I am telling you this because you might have peace in me, no? In the world, you will have trouble, but take courage because I have conquered the world. In other words, our knowledge of God should be a kind of balanced thing that in good times and in bad times, God will always be with us. That's my point. Sometimes our knowledge of God is only when the good life is being offered to us. But what about if it's not? And so our knowledge of God should be more holistic that in whatever situation we are, God is at work. And more so that we should know God when, when everything is not falling in the expectations that we have in this world. He is saying, I am, I am telling you this so that you will have peace in me. You will be in trouble in the world, but do not care, do not worry, no? Do not worry because I have conquered the world. Um, even in, in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, we can see in here the incomplete, incompleteness of the catechesis, we may say, an incomplete catechesis of the 12 men who are in Ephesus. Um, they were baptized only by the baptism of John, which during that time is very popular already and well accepted. But it is kind of lacking. It is only a baptism to the repentance, to, uh, to prepare for, for the one who is coming, and that is our Lord Jesus Christ, no? I mean, during the time of John. And so, they haven't baptized yet in the Holy Spirit, and they haven't known yet of the Holy Spirit. And so, Paul, this time, baptized them, and the Holy Spirit descended on them with the laying of the hands. And they have known the Holy Spirit, which is a very, very important aspect of their lives because they have to go through life with the Holy Spirit. So yung ba, they thought that they have known everything, but it's not. It's not also, again, an incomplete knowledge of things, incomplete catechesis for that matter. And so maybe in our world now, maybe the major concern of us should be um, the lack of catechesis, the lack of true information about Jesus, about, about um, the faith, about the church, the lack of proper formation no? uh, in the schools. The young people, they receive very, very little uh, religious instructions. And sometimes in the parishes, they receive the instructions only as preparation for the sacraments. And nothing really much more. I mean, not all, but probably uh, there is really a lack, no? In, in the education of our young people about the faith, about Jesus. And so it should be the concern of, of the parents, definitely, and, and the Catholic educators to really give the, give the proper formation of, of, of the heart and the soul, really, of our young people. Most people who are, who are fear in their faith and uh, they have received the education are those who have received that when they were young, no? Daladala nala sa kanilang paglaki. And so we should give this also to our young people now. And it's a major concern, no? We are so focused to so many activities, so, so many part of the education, but the religious instruction and education is sometimes lacking. And so it should be a concern for us, especially parents and the church, no? Our Catholic educators. 
back to the problems in the world, um, Jesus is telling them, have peace in me. Because true, really, true peace. Peace does not mean the absence of, it means the presence of. It, is, it does not mean the absence of noise, the absence of problems, the absence of conflicts. Peace means the presence of Jesus into our lives. And only Jesus can give that to us. To, so that whatever we are undergoing, whatever circumstance we are in, in these pandemic times, when, when there are so many problems financially, relational problems, no, no, no work and all this associated with the pandemic, we could still be at peace if that peace is coming from Jesus. Because we know that Jesus has control in this world. He knows what he's doing. He knows our situation. And he will really change that things to our favor. And that is the one that will give us peace. Have that kind of peace in Jesus. Have this personal relationship with him. Pray to him always and you will be filled with his peace that surpasses all the things in this world. Amen. Pagkatapos mapagtagumpayan ni Jesus ang mundo, isinugun niya ang Espiritu upang tulungan tayo sa mga hinaharap nating pagsubok at sa ating misyon na magpatutuo sa Kanya. Manalagin tayo upang pagkalooban tayo ng lakas at hilingin ng Kanyang tulong sa ating mga pangangailangan. Panginoon, loobin mong makasalo kami sa iyong tagumpay. Ang mga inuusi, Naway magkaroon ng lakas ng loob na manindigan sa kanilang paniniwala. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, loobin mong makasalo kami sa inyong tagumpay. Ang mga natutukso, naway mapaglabanan ang kanilang kahinaan sa pamamagitan ng biyaya ng banal na Espiritu. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, loobin mong makasalo kami sa inyong tagumpay. Ang mga nag-alay kay Kristo ng kanilang gawain, profesyon at negosyo, naway makatanggap ng lakas sa pagtupad ng kanilang mga tungkulin sa kristyanong paraan. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, loobin mong makasalo kami sa iyong tagumpay. Ang mga may sakit, naway makaranas ng makapagpagaling na haplos ng banal na espiritu. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, loobin mong makasalo kami sa iyong tagumpay. Ang mga na mayapang tapat sa Panginoon, naway magtamasa ng maningning na bukang liwayway ng buhay na walang hanggan. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, loobin mong makasalo kami sa iyong tagumpay. Sa katahimikan ng ating puso, itaas natin sa Panginoon ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan. Makapangyarihang Ama, magagawa mo ang lahat ng bagay. Marapatin mong gamitin namin ang iyong kapangyarihan sa lahat ng aming ginagawa para sa iyong ikaluluwalhati. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristo ang aming Panginoon. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Marami po salamat sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating pagninilay ngayong araw na ito. Have a nice week. Magandang araw at magandang buhay sa inyong lahat.